Crop Force Charles Clifford is live for us in Orinda to bring us all, uh, catch us up on all the details. And Charles, there's quite a bit to unpack here. Yeah, it's a very complicated issue, but basically uh, BART's outgoing inspector general is calling on the transit agency to make some changes. The BART inspector general position was created back in 2019 with the mandate of conducting oversight of BART. But four years later, the first person to hold the IG role, Harriet Richardson, says she is leaving the job early, four months before her term was set to end. She says that during her time as IG, BART management and BART employee unions made it difficult for her to do her job. She says she had trouble accessing records, talking to employees, and securing funding for the IG office, all of which led her to conclude that she couldn't continue in the role. Um, you reach a point where you do say enough is enough. BART, meanwhile, is facing potential budget deficits of up to $300 million per year, due in large part to a decrease in ridership following the coronavirus pandemic. Richardson says she feels that if BART management were to embrace the work of the IG office, it would help them balance the books. There is more opportunity for efficiency. There is more opportunity to eliminate the waste, to identify fraud and weed that out. And so BART has to change the culture from the top down and set a uh, tone at the top that we don't want waste, we don't want fraud. If, we if the inspector general identifies it, we're going to cooperate with them in weeding that out. And I think that's key to changing the culture at BART. A BART spokesperson was at Friday's press conference, but declined to go on camera to respond to Richardson's accusations. The spokesperson did say that BART would issue a response at some point. The IG position currently will be unfilled. There are two other people in that office. It's expected possibly late this spring or next summer a new IG could be appointed. But for now, in Orinda, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.